Hey adventurers, Joe Bassett for Valiant Outfitters here for another Wilderness Wednesday. A while ago I did a, a video on Plow Point Shelter, one of my favorite shelters. Well this week I want to show you a variation on it uh, for when you don't have trees that are in convenient places. One of the things that's fantastic about being out in the wilderness is there are no mundane, repeatable, parallel, or perpendicular patterns. Uh, they're not predictable. It's complete chaos out here, but of course we were created for the chaos. It actually calms and soothes our souls when we're in the chaos of nature. Well, part of that chaos is that there sometimes aren't trees conveniently placed. I love the Plow Point Shelter. You can see I have a variation of it back here, but sometimes the trees aren't where you want them to be. Or you want to set up your plow point further away from a tree. The way I did it last time was this point of the, uh, the shelter right here was right up next to a tree, so there really wasn't a place for fire. Well, we can solve two of our issues there with this variation on a plow point. It's using a ridge line that's running from one tree to another. You could probably figure out what I did here by looking at this behind me, but let me deconstruct it. We'll put it back together again so that you can see exactly my mindset when I'm setting up this variation on the plow point. For this variation of the plow point, I'm using a ridge line. This is my quick deploy ridge line. I already have an overhand end loop for my static end. Now, when I did the plow point before, remember I used a very short piece of cordage and I tied it right off to the tree, but of course that eliminated being able to get a good fire to heat up for my shelter. So I want to be able to move my plow point away from the tree and a ridge line is going to help me do that. Another point here is that remember when I did that plow point I tied off that middle tie off point up to another tree so that I can get some extra headroom in it. Well this area that I have here to set up I don't have a tree convenient for that but there is one that's almost 25 feet away so that's what I ran my ridge line to and I can tie off to that ridge line as you'll see in just a minute. As I said, this is my quick deployment um, ridge line. I also have three prussic knots here uh, on my quick deployment uh, ridge line. You'll want at least three on your quick deployment uh, line. They don't take up any space and they're very handy to have. For this setup, you can get away with just two, but if you have three, it can be pretty handy. I've slid my prussic knots down so they're away from the tree. This is going to be the first one that I'll use. Got plenty of room for a fire here if I want. A uh, wind is predominantly coming from that direction. So as the plow point slopes down, it's going to give me pr good protection from the wind and the rain. Let's get up the tarp. Now we'll run the opposing corner parallel to the ridge line, and it's going to make a diamond shape. So it's going to come out and then back in. So this is the opposing corner to that one that's going to be at the front. Before I do the side corners, I want to make sure to move my prussic knots, my other two prussic knots. So this is the middle one, and I'm going to put that um, directly above the center tie-out point of the tarp, or as close as I can get to it. The third of the prussic knots, I'm going to move away just for now. Before I tie this off, I want to do one side of the side corners. Now that I have that side done, I'm going to provide my headroom. Remember when I did the plow point before, I had a tree right back here that I could tie off to. This time I don't have a tree so close, and I only have this one ridge line of cordage. So I need to find a way to get that headroom, and this is how I'm going to do it with this center prussic knot. With that set, I can do my final corner. A 
You can see why I started with that ridge line so high. It started up above my head, but this tarp is going to put a lot of tension on it and pull it down. And right now it's a little bit below eye level. It's given me a great place to tie off in the middle to get some extra headroom in here in my plow point. One of the other things I really like about this setup is if the wind changes direction on me significantly, I can reorient this just by taking out this uh, toggle point and staking this down and then going to the other end and flipping that up and toggling it off up to the ridge line. And I've just reversed the orientation of my plow point. The plow point with a ton of room inside. One of my favorite tarp setups. Just throw a ground cloth down there and I'm set to go. Tons of room. This is Joe Bassett for Vian Outfitters. I hope you enjoyed looking at this modification, this variation on one of my shelters, the Plow Point Shelter. If you found it helpful, please hit that like button. It really helps. And subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know every time I come out with a new video. Get outside this weekend. Get out, enjoy, calm your soul in the chaos that is the wilderness.